This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 5th of March. I'm James Spann. Hey, turned out to be a pretty decent day today, but don't worry. Yeah, rain's coming back tomorrow. Let's go in there and check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Some filtered sunshine is seen from the Skycam at Cheehaw State Park, Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. That's one of our Walker County Skycams at Parrish, south of Jasper. High clouds advancing in there. And hey, that looks good. That's the Alabama Gulf Coast on a sunny, a sunny early March day, as seen from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. New shortwave trough over Texas moving our way. That promises to bring clouds tonight and rain tomorrow. But today, yeah, look at that. Uh, I wasn't convinced the sun would be out too much today, but by golly, it did break out. But you can see that veil of high clouds uh, moving up from uh, parts of South Alabama, moving northward, and the clouds will thicken tonight. In response to the sunshine, we actually have some low 60s on the board. Birmingham and Anniston, 61. Tuscaloosa, 62. But tomorrow, not so sure we get out of the 40s with uh, clouds and rain at times. And boy, look at Memphis and Little Rock. They just can't warm up up there. Uh, the cold air not being scoured out, still freezing at Little Rock at mid-afternoon. Remarkable for the fifth day of March. But even there, they will warm up later this week and over the weekend. Relatively quiet around the nation. Looks like a small part of Minnesota and North Dakota with a blizzard warning way up north. But down here, things are calm. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday evening of next week. Heavier totals around Dothan over southeast Alabama, suggesting rain amounts there of maybe an inch and a half or more. Totals up this way, about three quarters of an inch. And the bulk of that will come during the day tomorrow and tomorrow night. Because of that strong shortwave, this is the GFS, valid at noon tomorrow. The 12Z run at 500 millibars, very dynamic trough down below that. Broad surface low in the northeastern Gulf. Moisture spreading up into Alabama should be a cloudy day, a chilly day, and a wet day. Again, I don't think we get out of the 40s. This is the uh, high-res NAM at noon, showing uh, perhaps the heavier rain. East of I-65, south of I-20. And then 10 o'clock tomorrow night, the heavier rain begins to lift out of here. But there could be some lingering light rain or a drizzle well into the night tomorrow night. We figure rain amounts about one-half to three-quarters of an inch. No severe weather, just plain old-fashioned rain. Now, Friday, the system is uh, lifting out and deepening. The surface low is uh, below Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, we get the idea Friday will start cloudy. And then we start to clear Friday afternoon. And the high Friday will be determined by the time of the clearing. If the sun breaks out early in the day, we should see low 60s. But if the clearing is slow, we'll stay in the 50s. But this looks gorgeous. This is Saturday as we start the weekend. The sky's sunny. The high very close to 70 in most spots. But we notice colder air to the north and a cold front comes through in dry fashion Saturday evening. And this is Sunday. Thickness values come down a little bit. We'll probably go from a high Saturday of about 70 down to a high of about 62 or 63 on Sunday with a north wind, but the weekend now looks totally dry. Monday of next week should be dry and mild, bright sunshine, the high around 70. Tuesday, again, uh, the model looking dry as could be. And if that's right, we might see mid-70s. Yeah. Then a week from today, you can see that the shortwave energy as it kind of comes out of the west dampens out. Uh, down below that, evidence of a broad surface low over South Alabama with some chance of rain uh, a week from today. Again, that's Wednesday, March 12th, and we'll kind of watch that in coming days, but that clearly uh, will be the next decent rain opportunity after the event tomorrow. Go out there a few more days, March the 17th. Yeah, Western Ridge, Eastern Trough. Look at that cold air, snowy look. There's been some decent consistency in the idea out here of a pretty good cold snap at mid-March, so fair warning. And March the 21st, the end of the forecast, now the cold front coming through with a very deep surface low around the Great Lakes. Boy, if that would verify, that would be a, a blizzard uh, to seriously shut things down over Wisconsin and parts of uh, upper Michigan, if this verifies, and we all know that it's probably going to go away on the next run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.